Today we're doing something we've never done before in our five years of travel. We're gonna play some pickleball at a truck stop. We're doing our first overnight at a truck stop tonight. First time ever. Never done it before. A little different than you might be thinking though. We are 11 miles to our overnight stop. And hey, we can fill up on fuel while we're there. And, and empty out the poo. Yeah, because, <laughs> because this Loves is a Loves RV stop mm -hmm. and they have an actual RV park there on site. They're fairly new. I think there's only like 30 or so in the United States. Yeah. Don't know what it looks like yet. Yeah, I've seen pictures, but I tried to look at it on satellite and it's too new for it to be on satellite images. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like it's directly adjacent to the truck stop. So that's what we're curious about is A, what's that going to be like? What's the noise like? I am very sensitive to noise, so this could be a mistake, but we are doing it as an experiment because we want to let you know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all, I mean, it's a little bit separated from where the trucks park. Yeah, there's a fence, but I don't know how good the fence is. We're going to get some fuel because we have another day tomorrow until we get to the cabin. And we'd rather leave in the morning full up already. After we fill up, then we're going to get parked and figure out the situation. We've reserved it online. There's a code, you get in the gate, and then you just check in on the app. Oh, okay. I'm here, check me in. Going to the site left or right up here, so we can apply, just come straight in. I'll wait till you get up there. What site? You said 30, 30? 37, it's the one right on the end here. Closest to us. On the right or left? On the right. Okay. And here we were afraid that there might not be a site. I don't think a lot of people know about this. So whenever we stay overnight like this, I want to stay on the hitch so we can be quickly in the morning if the site's nice and level. I just use the manual level on the One Control app, like this. It's pretty good. Bring the nose up a touch. That's about as far as I can go, it's pretty level. Turns out I was wrong about how level we were and I did need a couple more degrees on that hitch. So I come off the hitch just a couple of inches. I leave everything else hooked up. It makes it super easy to hook back up in the morning. We made it and we're in and that was easy. And uh, really, you didn't have to like adjust or anything. Yeah. It was so long. I had the whole place to line up. And so, <laughs> and so much for like, we better reserve soon because you know the spots might fill up well if you can see nobody's here there's actually some amenities here that are kind of cool and we're gonna go show you those now fire pit and it's gas and like the other things here it's self-activated so you just i think put a timer on it headed on a road trip let's go let's go washing every town we dip on the path in charge of the tunes, just skip the ones that make the time just fly on by, 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 by. Did not expect this to be here. A splash pad at a truck stop. 
<laughs> it's kind of cool, you know, it's only February. Although it is hot, it's about 80 degrees right now. It's not on, it's not operational, which thankfully. If it was working, Chad probably would have hit the button. I was trying. Oh, hold on. I'm really glad you didn't find that button beforehand. It's red. It's, it's, it's red. It's like, no, it's February. This is pretty nice. I'm super impressed, actually. I'm impressed. I know I keep saying that, but I'm I'm actually very impressed. Yeah, and it looks like the fence is pretty high. You so maybe it'll block some of the noise, yeah. It is pricey, I gotta say. It's yeah, $50. 50 bucks. But we were going to stay at the KOA, and that's probably a little bit more, you know. Like 53, I think. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, we, we wanted to try this out. And as you can see, there's really nobody else here but us right now. There's no guarantee that there'll be spots if you just pull in, but probably until people start catching on to these being available. Yeah, and what's cool is you can pick your spot online, too. Mm -hmm. It seems like they're very thoughtful in the amenities that they did put here. Like mm -hmm. the dog park has a separate section for the large dogs and then the small dogs. So that makes me feel better if there were people here with dogs. Yeah. Um, Daisy probably falls into the 30 pounds or less category. Uh, <laughs> Daisy <laughs> falls into less. the five pounds or less category. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the mulched path is the walking path that mm -hmm. I'll take Daisy on a little later. See how she does on mulch. I'm not sure if she'll like it. She'll probably, probably go in the grass. The other thing that's neat too, I've never seen a dog park with picnic tables in it so you can actually sit down, mm -hmm. maybe have a snack. <laughs> <laughs> For this park at least, every site has 50 and 30 amp water and sewer. So, uh, and obviously they have nice big pads. These pads here are 50 feet and the one that we're on that's a pull through is 75 feet. So nice and easy to get onto. They have two ADA sites that are really, really wide. Smoke in the sky and fire in the air. Pickleball. Who would have thunk it? At a love. That's interesting. So we're gonna have to try that out. Yeah, we're gonna have to dig out our pickleball brackets. Truck stop pickleball. <laughs> Time to head over for some dinner. Bojangles. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had Bojangles. I don't think I have either. Pet wash. Just about to wash Daisy yesterday. Just walking to dinner. Okay. I'm gonna try out this Bojangles thing. Loves RV stop complete. Do I look well rested? <laughs> I think you do. I did. I mean, I I slept pretty good. Yeah, it I was, did too. The the trucks were were pretty noisy until At eleven or twelve. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't bother me that much. It was more of a low rumble. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like somebody was right there, like next to us. And yeah. Stuff. So it wasn't it bad. Like it almost seemed like an aggregation of all the APUs running, kind of like a low blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. Like a hum. Yeah. Up until about midnight, there were a lot of trains. Mm -hmm. And at, at one particular point, there were two trains. They seemed like they were both going five miles an hour and honking their horn constantly. Every, every 10 seconds, they just they wanted to <laughs> lay on that horn. Once that settled down, I slept well. Yeah. And the few times that I did wake up, because I do wake up several times, that's just how I am. It was really, really quiet in the middle of the night and yeah. early morning hours. So it was good. 
All okay. in all, this was a really good experiment and a good stop, and I think that we will use it again for sure. Yeah, definitely recommend it. I liked it. I liked all the conveniences of it. I think that there's a lot of really like fun amenities if you have the time to play pickleball and yeah. splash around and yeah. stuff. Yeah, for this type of park, uh, if it loves, if you're going to build new ones, don't have so many amenities and lower the price a bit because mm -hmm. this is more of an overnight versus a resort we don't yeah. you know i mean it's kind of cool but most people traveling and stopping overnight aren't going to be wanting to play yeah. pickleball i was thinking that too although very well thought out for the amenities and the things that mm -hmm. they do have here which i really appreciate because you can tell it was very thought out they didn't think maybe about the target market that would be using this type of parking space mm -hmm. and you're right if you didn't have all the amenities and stuff and just had a nice clean simple little rv parking area yeah and you could lower the, the hookups, price the, the hookups and everything mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. yeah. we were one of four people in this entire park last night mm -hmm. maybe if the price were 30 bucks it'd be fuller and they'd actually make some money on it mm -hmm. there's no way they're making money on four people on a night yeah we still use our fuel card as well so yeah the, TS, the, the tsd mm -hmm. open roads we still use that a lot They've taken out the Pilot and Flying J's right now because there were some contract disputes and it sounded like actually Pilot and Flying J were being kind of shady about yeah. it. We don't know the details on that, but yeah, we still love our fuel card, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Daisy, did you sleep okay? Mm -hmm. If you like this video and got some value out of it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. So does Daisy. That's it. See you next time.